What's happening guys, it's Shane here and in today's video we're going to be going over the major difficulty tier list. So we're going to be talking about a lot of different college degrees and how difficult they are and we're going to be ranking them from S tier which is the most difficult to F tier which is the least. Now if you appreciate me doing videos like this go ahead gently tap that like button hit the subscribe button ring the notification bell and let's jump right into it. All right so we're going to be doing this in alphabetical order and we're going to start off with an accounting degree. So accounting is a business degree. Business degrees are relatively easy but accounting is going to be one of the more rigorous ones. So this one is going to go into B tier. Now by the way guys I'm not really going to explain my rankings. If I explain my rankings this would be like a 40 minute video. So to keep this short, I'm just going to be giving you my opinions. I'm not really going to elaborate on anything. Aerospace engineering is going to be next. And this one is clearly S tier, very, very difficult degree. Another thing I should mention is degree difficulty is extremely subjective for one person. An engineering degree might be relatively easy, whereas they'd have more trouble with an English degree. But with that being said, there are some objective things we can measure like dropout rates, uh, how long students study every month, how stressed students get, it's Etc. Next one on the list is going to be anthropology. So this one, you know, actually surprisingly difficult. It's not like a super, you know, cushy, easy degree to get. Uh, it's going to go into C tier. Next one is going to be architecture. So this is one of those degrees where you actually have to have quite a bit of kind of like right brain and left brain thinking at the same time. So it definitely has an artistic and a logical component to it. And this is the one where students spend the most amount of time studying per week. So architecture is going to go into A tier. Art is going to be next on the list and this is just art in general they'll probably keep you relatively busy doing different projects but you know objectively it's just not all that difficult because you know you're going to submit your art assignment and you're going to get your grade art is super subjective you know you could make some piece of art that's one person thinks is amazing another person thinks it's terrible but with that being said they do spend quite a bit of time on their art so this one goes into c tier next one on the list is biology now this is one that a lot of people think is interesting and it's really easy and in reality it's actually a pretty difficult major many people are extremely surprised at how rigorous biology is so this this one is actually going to go into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be biomedical engineering. And I think it's going to speak volumes when I put this one into A tier because I'm very picky about which ones I put into S. So yeah, this one goes into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be business in general, kind of like a general business degree, uh, business administration. This one goes into C tier. Chemical engineering is the next one on the list. One of the most difficult degrees out there. This one goes into S tier. Chemistry is next on the list. Really difficult one. One. a lot harder than a lot of people think. Um, I'm gonna put this one in A tier and it's borderline S tier actually. Next one on the list is going to be civil engineering. Uh, this one is one of the easier engineering degrees. It's not easy by any means, but uh, even the easier engineering degrees are gonna be pretty difficult. So this one's going into A tier. Next one on the list is going to be communications. Uh, this is the one that a lot of people, if they're like football players or basketball players, they'll get a communication degree because it's pretty easy to get. You basically just have to show up to the classes and that's all. There's not a whole a lot of studying on the side it's relatively easy to pass the classes right like you might not pass the classes with an a but if you just want to pass the classes you show up do your thing and that's it so communications is going to go into d tier computer engineering is going to be the next one on the list this one goes into a tier computer science is next this one also goes into a tier a lot of people underestimate computer science they think it's relatively easy when in reality it's actually pretty tough creative writing is next on the list uh, this one goes into F tier. Super, super easy degree overall. Dance is next on the list. This also goes into F tier. Economics is next. This one goes into B tier, although at some schools they have much more of a focus on mathematics. And so in that case, it would go into A tier. But overall, I'm going to put it into B tier. Education is going to be next on the list. Education is relatively easy. It's one of those degrees that, you know, I always recommend try to go to an accelerated school or a competency based school so you can get it as fast as possible. Education goes into F tier. And I know this is probably super controversial. People are going to be mad at me. Listen, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what I was right about, what I was wrong about. 
at the end of the day, this is extremely subjective. Take it all with a grain of salt. Electrical engineering is next on the list. One thing about electrical engineering is it's extremely like theoretical and it's kind of difficult for you to envision in your head. Now, some people can do that really easily. Some people it's very difficult. Uh, but overall, electrical engineering does make it into S tier. Engineering physics is next on the list. This one actually ranked number one on the most recent, uh, most difficult degrees list that I did. And uh, yeah, definitely goes into S tier. English is going to be next on the list. You know, this one is going to keep you relatively busy. But in terms of passing with an English degree, I mean, it's not all that hard, right? You might not get like a 4.0 or anything like that. But if you show up, turn in all your assignments, you're gonna pass, you're gonna graduate in four years. So English goes into C tier. And actually I have to say one of the most difficult classes I took was an advanced English class, but that's because I was trying to get an A in the class, right? So getting an A in classes like this is pretty difficult, but getting a B or a C is not all that hard. Next one on the list is going to be finance. So finance is kind of in the same realm as accounting. Uh, it kind of depends on the school you go to, how difficult it is, but overall, I'm going to put it into B tier. Geography is next on the list. This one goes into C tier. Geology is next. This one goes into B tier. History is going to be next on the list. This one goes into C tier. Industrial engineering is next. It's one of the easiest engineering degrees, in my opinion, uh, but it still goes into A tier. Interdisciplinary studies. This is basically like your jack of all trades sort of thing. You, you sample a little bit of everything. Uh, interdisciplinary disciplinary studies goes into F tier. Journalism, uh, this one, again, probably going to keep you relatively busy, but overall, it's going to go into C tier. Language degrees in general, you've got a very long period of time in order to learn the language. Uh, overall, I'm going to put this one into D tier. Management information systems, uh, one of the more technical business degrees, also probably my favorite business degree overall. This one goes into B tier. Marketing is next on the list. Uh, not too hard. This one goes into C tier. Mathematics, Mathematics is next on the list. This one almost makes it into S tier, but not quite. I'm going to go ahead and put it into A tier. Mechanical engineering is next on the list. This one goes into A tier. Microbiology is going to be next. This one has some of the highest study time, actually. Um, but overall, you know, the course and the concepts that you're studying, they're not that difficult. It just takes a lot of memorization. So this one goes into A tier. Music is next on the list. It may sound easy, but nothing could be harder definitely going to keep you very busy. You'll be practicing your instrument all the time. But again, it's not that hard to pass. This one goes into D tier. Nuclear engineering is going to be next. This one goes into A tier. Nursing is going to be next on the list. Contrary to popular belief, this one is not all that hard. It's going to go into B tier. Petroleum engineering is going to be next. This one goes into A tier. Physics, yes. Physics is next. Very, very difficult degree. The average person who gets a physics degree, I've talked about this in my last video, is a borderline genius, right? So physics, super difficult one, super difficult conceptually, and they're also gonna keep you very busy. This one goes into S tier. Political science is gonna be next on the list. They're gonna keep you busy, but not all that difficult. This one goes into C tier. Public relations is D tier. Religion and theology, D tier. Social work, I'm gonna put this one into C tier. Sociology goes into D tier. Statistics, uh, my personal weakness, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I, I just, I don't really like statistics at all. I like every other type of math except for statistics. It's just very boring to me. It makes me want to fall asleep, even though I've used it many times. Statistics goes into A tier. Theater or drama, this one goes into F tier. And finally, pre-med or any type of degree track where you have to get really good grades in order to get accepted. So for instance, if you're doing like pre-law and you're trying to get accepted to a really good school, you know, the classes you take might not be all that difficult, but you have to get A's in all of them, which is super, super hard. So in that case, uh, pre-med, I'm gonna go ahead and put that into A tier. And that also goes for pre-law as well if you're trying to get into a top level school or any you know, pre-professional degree if you're trying to do super well and get to a really good school. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other video right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. Jab on the video, and I will see you next time.